You are right there, ladies and gents. How's it going? The very awesome guys at Destination Triumph down in Washington are doing a service on my 765R. It's its annual one, 6,000 miles jobby. And uh, yeah, while they've got my bike, they've lent me their bike. It's the uh, Triumph Speed Triple 1050S. Um, I haven't ridden a 1050 for many years. I used to have a 2004, um, which was one of the first of the 1050s. And I loved that bike. It was fantastic fun, really, really awesome. So it'd be really interesting to see how the, uh, the model has progressed over the years. It's a bit more powerful now. Um, I'm not sure about the looks. It's not a huge amount of difference, but I had the old chrome lights, which I think looks so much better. I wonder if they could ever reinvent them, put them back on, but with the LEDs and stuff, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. But yes, I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Now, this isn't a review of the bike. It's just a sort of first impressions jobby, and I'm not a professional, so uh, it's just what it is. Keep that bike from down. All right, so I've managed to put a few miles on this now. Not a mega amount, it's not my bike, and it's not a proper review, like I said earlier. It's just a first impressions. And you've got to give a bike a few miles to create those first impressions. So, I think I'm going to give you a list of three things that I absolutely love about this bike. And the first of them being the blooming amazing, super duper awesome, comfortable riding position. Now, I don't know whether I'm just used to riding uncomfortable motorbikes or whatever, but this thing is so lovely. The seat is just, oh, it's amazing, I love it. It's like riding on a sofa. And the position to the bars for me is even better than it is on my 765. I don't know what is different. I think my hands are a little bit closer to me. So I like that. I like that a lot. So the comfort, or ergonomics I guess it would be. Now the other thing I like on it, which I'm not going to test here to show you, it's a thing that I think all motorcycles should have, or at least all big CC road bikes should have, because it's amazing. And I've never had it on a motorbike before. It's the traction control. It's fantastic. So you're coming along and you get to a 50 mile an hour average speed limit. All those rubbish things with all them stupid cameras all along them. You put it on 49 miles an hour, set the cruise control and off you go. You don't need to worry about a speeding ticket ever. That is just, just, oh, it's a game changer. I really want it on my 765. It's just fantastic. <laughs> and even at 30 mile an hour you can shove it on and use it to kind of protect you from those 30 mile an hour speed limits obviously in town it's a bit more of a risk having the cruise control on so you need to be ready to turn it off at the rush <laughs> and you might have guessed what number three is this is blooming engine! Oh my word, I've missed the mid-range than you get from a large CC bike. Oh my word, I thought my 765 was a bit rapid. But this thing here, on the road, it needs stickers. It needs stickers over the numbers because I can't ride this bike and show you any of the fun things on it without those numbers being dodgy. Like sevens, there's a seven there, I'm sure of it. Maybe a two. <laughs> maybe a 12 I don't know I'm making numbers up but yes this thing is insane absolutely insane so yes the engine the engine is a blooming gem it's almost ferocious but it's so user-friendly it's just crazy now as soon as I've told you three things that I like about this bike let's do three things I dislike now, the first thing was something that I was almost going to compliment the bike on, was these far end mirrors. But the one on the right hand there keeps moving all by itself. Useless, absolutely useless. I'm sure it just needs tightening up, but they do vibrate a lot as well when you're at speed. So, um, yes, 
not impressed with them I don't know whether this has uh, the same sort of ones as my 765 has out of the box or if uh, this is what it comes with but I don't like them they give you good visibility when they work they just don't work now the next thing that I dislike about this is its tyres now these uh, Pirelli Rossos I believe they are the same as you get if I remember correctly on the 765R and they wear badly they're really really grippy when they're brand new and loads and loads of fun loads of confidence in them but once they get worn they are just not fun at all neither there's traffic like this oh my word yeah the tyres they just don't wear very well they square off and then the bikes handle like a pile of poop and it's taken me a little while to get dulled in to how these tyres are worn on this bike and I don't think they're mega high miles I just think because of the way this bike puts its power down its torque, its monstrous torque people have been enjoying them a little bit much and they've squared off that rear a little bit still got loads of grip, loads of tread but yeah, I just don't like the Pirelli Rossos so the third thing, the third and final thing that I dislike about this bike and it's not really the bike's fault at all you can't really blame the bike for it it's the height they don't do a low version of the speed triple what they do with the street which means I'm on tippy toes tippy toes to get my feet down and they just mean slow speed car park stuff when you're trying to put it into a parking space and all that it's just that little bit harder for stumpy little monkeys like me yeah so I can't really fault it properly for the height but it does affect us and Triumph have already acknowledged the fact that they're shorter riders Oof. that was close <laughs> so yes the height thing isn't really a complaint I can have at the bike just at my gene pool <laughs> now the tyres everyone's going to have their preference for tyres we're all going to like different things so um, maybe that's just me maybe it's a feel thing and I'm over exaggerating what it feels like but yes worn Pirellis do not make my day but you can change your tyres you can change the tyres so again that's not really a biggie either so the only real issue I've got with this bike is the wing mirrors and I think they're aftermarket or at least factory option jobbies so yeah if you bought this bike as it was out of the box you wouldn't have that issue so this bike's pretty damn awesome so now I've given you three things I like and three things I don't like I guess now I better go and give it back all right well if you haven't done so already please click that subscribe button it'd be great to have you come back for some more and if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down but whatever you do please do drop in a comment i'd love to know what your thoughts are on my three and three and uh, maybe you've got some thoughts of your own on uh, um, what is the amazing and the unamazing about this wonderful little motorcycle anyways Drop in that comment. Right, you ride safe. Take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. And keep that bike from the side down. Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike from the side down. <laughs>